All right, well, let me see how dirty my glasses are. Today, I start a new adventure in my life. We're here in the kitchen. I have just purchased my first ever model. The 1966 F100 flare side Ford pickup. Skill level three. I don't know if I'm mature enough. There's the tools. I'm nervous. Very, very nervous. But I want to do this for a while. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, starting, we have the front cross member uh, plugged into the twin I beam axle right here. You can see that there. I still have to cement things down. I'm just doing a rough sketch. I don't know, pretty interesting. Alright, just got the first little bit glued. Just glued on the twin eye beams and one of the wood, the uh, hood, <clears throat> the engine mounts. With some good old, just glued the hardest piece. Uh, it's going to be the steering box right here. This thing. Very difficult to glue on. My fingers are too big. Probably going to be a common problem while doing this. All right, little update. We got sway bars, links in place. I still have to put, you can see that hook thing right here. I have to hook a thing up right there, a link. getting there slowly and surely all right here we go we're getting there I just did these leaf springs in the back yeah. by the way Brooklyn picked the music I put together the axle here and the differential just glued that together slowly and surely slight update here there's your engine transmission distributor uh, oil filter distributor fan belt alternator I haven't built this side yet I just put together the valve cover we got the chassis all painted up I only made one mistake, okay? And it's going to forever haunt me. These engine mounts on either side, you can see it right there. And right there. They are not the same. One is longer than the other. And I messed up which side they went on. So, that's where we're at right now. Hey, right, here's your update. You got drive line, engines painted, and the cab. All right, quick update. Got the brake calibers, the battery, the pedals, the hood, the inner floor panel, the bed, all this stuff painted. These are the sides of the door, the dash, wheels. It's all painted right now. Still have a bunch of chrome pieces that I'll have to install. You got the front grill. I'm excited for that. I gotta let all that stuff dry and then I can put it together. We're here live with the Tilkster. 
say hi. Just painted or finished gluing together the wheels onto the frame. Spare wheel. Getting there. Learned a valuable lesson here. Don't paint before gluing the stuff together. It doesn't weld together properly. You can see the bleed off red right there in the hubcap or in the tire right here. Mistakes. Say bye. Bye. Oh, say Maria. All right, a couple things I learned here. <clears throat> Don't drill your hole too wide. They didn't put holes for the mirrors. I had to do that custom. And I drilled it too big. So now I had to use super glue. Second thing, don't freaking paint the project before everything is done. Like, gosh, it has been, they, the glue doesn't work if there's paint in the way. So it, the paint, when you put it on there, it smears. You can see that little puddle right there, right above, right below my finger. That puddle of white. That's because it freaking this stuff melts the paint to get to the to get to the stuff that it's supposed to weld. Also, critical failure. I didn't paint the engine bay before I put this bag in. Whatever. It looks like me and dad did it. <laughs> and the next thing, you can see some paint damage there from that while trying to attach that. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think maybe next time just better tape it off or something. But, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It's coming along. I'll get there nice and slowly. All right, quick update. Pedals are painted, engine is mounted to the chassis with the drive line, rear axle, got the hubcaps on, looking pretty dang good. Put most of the chrome on the truck, bag, battery. Um, I'm missing a piece. This piece right here, I cannot find it anywhere, so rip. I got the cab installed and all the glass. Glass is pretty tricky, you have to insert it from the inside, but because I put that rear view mirror on first. It made it a little difficult. Gas caps installed. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Now I just gotta put her down on this guy right here. Oh no, it looks sweet. So guess who forgot the white when he painted this? So that's first coat. I pray I can get that looking normal. I'll have to go over it with another coat once it all dries, but I have the body attached. We're getting there. All right, here's one of the last updates. Grills on, tail lights, front bumper. only thing I, I got to fix is this dang paint job. The white is just terrible. But I can do this little number right here. Ta -da. And she's finished. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to have to do some custom work with this muffler here. I think I'm going to tuck it in or pull her out. Why did they make a model like that? Maybe it's meant to push it down? I don't know. Still figuring that out. But, it's 
finished. All I gotta do, throw on this here hood. Boom, from a distance it don't look so bad. All right, here's the final result. That's her finished up. It ain't getting any better than that. God, I probably should put some more white on that door, but. A couple of tips that I learned. This is my first ever. So it's all a learning experience. But you can see that it's kind of rocky. It's not very level. And then the back, you can see the bed of the truck leans down that way. I couldn't get it to go on very level, so. That's it right there. You can put hood mounts on this. It keeps it the hood up like this. I didn't want to do that, so I actually just left the hood freestanding so I can take it on and off when I want. But yeah, that's it. Should be